Hello and welcome to the Kafkas, you guys. On days like this, making match reviews is super easy. Making match reviews is the best thing ever because Chelsea beat Crystal Palace 2-0 and we didn't struggle at all. And I love that. I love that on every level. And the team lineup was perfect. Pulisic deserves to continue in his spot as the starter. hudson Adoy, I'm sorry, you're going to have to stay benched. If this boy plays like this, raise your game. Fight for it the way Pulisic fought to get back into the team. When you get your chance, take it. Tammy continues, we get Reese James at the back. I said last week, does Frank Lampard have the balls to drop Aspilicueta? Yes, he does. I love that, Frank. This is what I'm talking about. No Jorginho today, but Kante gave it a start. We are stacked in midfield, and that makes me happy. Let's get on with the game. Man, the performance was a great one today. In the first half, we bossed it. Absolutely bossed the game. There was no doubt in my mind we were going to win this game. We were carving them open at will. We just weren't taking our chances. Pulisic had a great opportunity in the first half where he literally cut in, fainted the shot and the player slid past him. It's like he's sliding into someone's DMs. Pulisic went back on his left foot, was too close to Guardetta to chip him. It didn't work out. It happens. He's being more direct. I love it. Additionally, you know, when you start looking at it, we were opening them up. We had control of the game. I was worried. No Jorginho. No party. Nah, bruh. We on control. Zuma, very good, solid recovery. Anytime anything was going in behind. Tomori, Reese James, bro. My you had him in his pocket. He had Zaha in his pocket. There was nothing. There was nothing you can do because it's simple as that, fam. It's simple as that. We've got this guy in our pocket. We've got the best right back in the league. I'm telling you now. We should have went in at halftime 1-0 up. We really should have. William missed a great opportunity. It was blocked by Gary Hale. I was like, is this Pagan going to come back and haunt us? Is he going to do one of those last dish tackles and be the picture of the day? But you know what? The boys came out in the second half and they played phenomenally. Let's talk about the first goal. You know what? William's slowly becoming clutch for us. I mean it. William has stepped up this year. When Hazard left, I said, you know what? William's got the number 10 jersey. I'm not happy with it because he doesn't step up and be the man for the team. But you know what? This season... Key moments, William is stepping up. And I'm his number one critic. And I'm going to say, William's been very good this year. That assist today, moment of magic. When there's a tight defence like that, you need someone to open it up. William, fantastic pass. Tammy, great finish. I don't give Tammy enough credit at times. But you know what? That's the type of a finish I want from a Chelsea number one, number nine. I want you to be finishing like that. Clinical. You go through, put him on his ass, and bury it. Simple as that. Very good finish from Tammy. That pass from Willian. Mwah. Competition between Mitchie and Tammy. I love it. It's just they're both different players. You want a goal, you bring on Mitchie. You want the whole all-round build-up play, you start Tammy. All in all, it's very nice. It's nice to see. The competition between Pulisic and Callum hudson Adoy. I love it. This is what you want in your team. Compete. We're a big club. We need to start acting like a big club. More than one player is going to compete for one position. I don't like this. We guaranteed can name the XL from 1 to 11. I don't want to do that. Midfield, we got four players competing. Left wing, two players competing. Right wing, two players competing. Compete. I don't want players knowing they're going to play. This is the best thing that's happening to Chelsea. Rhys James comes in today. Dominates Zaha. Nothing can be said. Competition in this squad. Man, Lampard's team has taken shape. Now we can be happy. A performance like this should make us happy. When you actually deep it, Pulisic is getting goals now, but his all-round performance today, Christian Pulisic's all-round performance today was one of a player that is playing with confidence. And this is all I wanted from you, bro. Pick up the ball and drive. Pick up the ball and make things happen. Pick up the ball and take shots. You are Hazard's replacement. Even though you're not good enough to fill those boots yet, in time, you're going to have to be. You and Callum, one of you is going to have to learn to be his replacement because that's the world we live in. You were the heir to Eden Hazard. Show us now how good you are. And performances like this are positive direction steps. And I love it. Well done, Christian Pulisic. I don't give you enough credit. All those American fans that are watching, comment below. Hit that like button if you are happy for Christian Pulisic. And any Chelsea fan, are you happy for Christian? I am. All in all, guys, I am super chuffed about this game. We had so much control. We looked comfortable in every level. And nothing can be said. Ingolo came back like he never missed a beat. Emerson, like he never missed a beat. Zuma and Tomori, mwah, they are absolutely perfect today. 
Kepa, clean sheet. Rhys James, phenomenal. Guys, this is the Kafkazi. I'm happy. You're happy. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out of here. Lego.